Before we go any further, I found this while looking around for parts. It's my old LED wheel display unit. You can download pictures into it and they'll display as the wheel turns. It's actually quite cool. This is the hub motor that makes a weird noise and I'm going to put it into my electric BMX, but I want to fix the noise. Okay, it totally doesn't want to come apart. The magnets are so strong. You do not want to get your fingers caught in that. Actually, I think the problem might be the shaft key. Um, I think it needs a bit of attention. Yes, I'm filing it down. It's the way to do it. Ridiculous contraption, needs a must. Oh, that doesn't sound good, does it? I'll keep going. That was too wobbly. I've put the spanners opposingly to balance it out. Perfect. These are bleeding serious magnets, these. Yep, the stator looks good. Yes, definite sign of wearing there. And this uh, bit of magnet, I lost that a long time ago. I don't think that's the problem. You know, I think I was right. It is out of balance. It's... It's bent over to one side, it's not the loose magnets. There's one tight point that's making the noise. And you know what I'm going to do? Off camera, I'm going to hit this with a bloody big hammer and see if that fixes it. Oh my god, I fixed it by hitting it with a hammer. Brash washer, then circlip. Centre cog for the gears, three little screws, they don't seem to be loctited. Just do them nice and tight. And then finally a sort of three quarters semi clip thing. What the duck? It's completely seized up now. What have I done? It was working perfectly until I put the last clip in. I'll have to take it apart again. It's a little tiny piece of wire. That's a problem with working with magnets. You've really got to think about what's around you. Do any damage. I love the way the motor eventually takes over and just snaps it into place. I've opened up the stays on the BMX as far as I can. When it's hitting the cranks. We're on a single speed free wheel. That should give me the space to get this in. I'm actually going to cut the shaft down so it isn't sticking out too much. That's the theory anyway. Still lots of hacking to do, but I'm on to it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week.